What's up everybody? Welcome back to Troy Draws Things. Today I wanted to share with you the five books that I think have been the most helpful for me as an artist. Most of these are related to comic books, but I think they're great for anybody who wants to get better at drawing. Now these are in no particular order, they're just the top five that I found that I enjoyed that I thought were really helpful. So the first one is Human Anatomy Made Amazingly Easy by Christopher Hart. I've got a number of Christopher Hart books, they're all wonderful, but this I think is going to be the most generally useful, pretty much a really basic human anatomy book. This book I think kind of gives a 50,000 foot view. It doesn't get super detailed, super minutia, but it gives a really good overview of basics of human anatomy and figure drawing. It starts out with looking at the human head, how to break it down into its basic elements and uh, basic elements proportions and it even goes a little bit beyond showing you a little bit of the muscular and skeletal structures that you need to be thinking about but not in a super complex and overwhelming way skeletal structure which is always important to have an understanding when drawing the human form because you definitely want to know how it influences the above structures. This book gives a good overview of basic muscle groups, whether it be in the arms, the legs, the torso. It gives you a breakdown of how they move. So to follow up with the anatomy, another really great book that I found helpful. Oh, nose itches. So another really great anatomy book is Constructive Anatomy by George B. Bridgman. This guy is kind of like the if Human Anatomy Made Amazingly Easy is Anatomy 101, this is Anatomy 102. It goes into a little more, quite a bit more detail, um, a lot more references and drawings, a lot more explanation on the form and how things are broken down. So moving on, the next few are more comic book focused but I think they're also really great for anybody who loves drawing, anybody who's interested in storytelling as well. First up is a classic, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way by Stan Lee and John Buscema. So the original copyright for this is from 1978. So you might think this is, is old and outdated, but really the concepts in here are evergreen. No matter what era you're trying to learn, these are all valuable lessons you can learn. For the first two books I showed you were about, you know, building up the anatomy. This book is about how to put that anatomy in motion, Show, creating action lines, how to create a sense of movement within your figures. And of course, because it is about comics, it also gives lessons on composition for comic books, how to lay out a story and tell it in a manner that makes sense and is easy for people to understand. Also talks about pacing, layouts, some layouts so you might look at it and say, oh, it's a six panel grid. That's pretty, pretty boring, accustomed to much more advanced things these days. But this is a great place to start. Understanding these fundamentals will get you a lot further than just trying to jump into more advanced stuff. Next up is the DC Comics Guide to Penciling. This is by Klaus Janssen. Now it has its similarities to how to draw comics the Marvel way, but it also offers different perspectives and adds a lot of, and adds a little bit more theory and explanations on various things. And the final is the DC Comics Guide to Inking by Klaus Janssen again. Now this guy is less about drawing, you know, understanding anatomy and storytelling and how to lay out things as, as it is to kind of finishing the drawing with ink and how that helps tell the story. This book goes over a variety of different tools and techniques for inking that I found immensely beneficial. This book goes over a lot of things such as how to use line weight to separate a foreground from a background or give expression to a figure. Different ways of using ink to add 
depth and texture to things using ink washes and dry brushing. So there you have it, my top five books on drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will leave a link in the description in case you're interested in checking any of those out yourself. And until next time, 